So there was a research study done in 2015 that showed dramatic improvements in balance and coordination through engaging in a rigorous set of balance training exercises. Those exercises were broken down into four components. Those components were sensory training, motor training, agility, and stability. What we're gonna do in this four-part Brain Balance Boost series, I'm gonna take you through exercises in each of these components. And if you wanna check out the research that all this is built off of, and the research is phenomenal, by the way, I'm gonna put a link in the description of each of these videos. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so part one of our Brain Balance Boost series, we're gonna focus on the sensory mechanisms, primarily vision, and our sense of touch. Both of these things are highly involved in balance. As you can imagine, what we see impacts directly our spatial awareness and also how we adjust and maneuver through space as we're engaging in everyday life. Our sense of touch is very important because it's always turned on through our feet as we're standing, through our hands we're picking things up. Unfortunately, vision, our sense of touch, these things decrease in functionality over time. So training the senses specifically is very important. I'm using the glimpse bar here. We're gonna do three exercises that are progressive in nature. We're gonna do a beginner, intermediate, and advanced variation. I'm gonna hold the glimpse bar on these white lines, and I'm gonna bring the bar straight out in front of my body. That window is facing me so I can see those wonderful ball bearings shifting around. And the first drill here in this sensory stimulus training is going to be to simply try to visually keep those three white ball bearings somewhere in between my hands within that window of view. Now the weight is likely always gonna be shifting. Don't get frustrated if it does. You're trying to keep the weight somewhere within view, not perfectly still and in the center, all right? But just that simple little visual stimulus of tracking those ball bearings and making adjustments syncs up the ocular motor reflex with the rest of the brain. You start to coordinate movement with it and you begin to understand how these things can help build better balance. Let's progress to step number two or level two here. We're gonna do the same drill. That bar is gonna come out front. I'm just gonna try to keep it stable while really focusing on those white ball bearings. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift to a single leg balance and I'm gonna make circles going clockwise. Oof, pretty challenging little drill here. And then once desired repetitions are reached, we're gonna go counterclockwise. all while trying to maintain the stability and the equilibrium of those white ball bearings. And when we start to combine movement, there's postural changes taking place, and we really have to sync up that movement more effectively. Level three, all we're gonna do here is provide a vestibular stimulus. So whether or not you wanna go back to that single leg balance circle, just a single leg balance by itself, what you're gonna do now is that same thing but this time, as you're coordinating the movement, your head is gonna be turning like you're gesturing no. Okay? You can also start to turn the head as you're making those circles, which gets very involved, and you almost wanna start making circles with your head. So disassociating those body parts is very important. So those are your three variations. First, bars out front, keeping those white ball bearings stable as our eyes are tracking. Level two, we had the circles. And level three, we had the circles or no circles with the vestibular system stimulus. So give those sensory movements a try and uh, be, be sure you stay tuned for part two, which is where we're gonna visit some motor training components.